What's going on everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and I want to give you a tour of the operating system on the HTC Droid Incredible. You guys have probably seen Android 2.1 in its stock form on the Nexus One or the Acer Liquid or a few other devices but HTC has their own custom skin on top of this called Sense which integrates itself really nicely with Android. So you take Android's great features and Sense's pretty kick butt features and you get a really really nice package here. Let's go ahead and uh, start the tour. And some of these may be Android that you've seen, and some of them might be pretty new. Let's start with the lock screen. Uh, first, you get a different lock screen. It's not the slides unlock you've seen before. You actually can push this whole window down. I've got a bit more utility here. You can see I've got a missed call. If I had a missed text message, it would show up there as well. I called myself. You have your notifications across the top as well that you can see. So I have a text message waiting for me and a missed call. And I've got that LED indicator light blinking, letting me know that something is going on. So let's unlock the device by sliding this down and are greeted with a very different looking screen than maybe you see in the past. If you've used Windows mobile phones with TouchFlow or TouchFlow 3D or another sense enabled device, this may look a bit familiar. You've everything here is completely customizable. The first thing you're going to notice though when you turn on your screen is how they've set it up. And you've got this huge clock with the weather widget integrated right on top of it. Android's all about widgets, and HTC sort of takes that to the next level. So you can see the time. I'm in Irvine, California. It's sunny, 59 degrees. If I tap the sun, I'll get a bit more information. I can set different cities here. I can scroll through and see where things are. And sometimes you get actually sort of these cool graphics that pop up right there. So it's raining in Rome, for example. If it was raining here in California, actually there'd be water drops that would show up across the screen. And every now and then when it's sunny, you'll see sort of rays of sun come in through the corner. Uh, pretty neat. Also, since I've got a missed text message, you get the notification right on your messaging icon to show you that you've missed one. And since we're talking about messaging, let's just jump right into there because there are a few differences here with Sense that you don't get with the stock Android build. So here are the messaging. I'd sent myself a te blank text message. You've got sort of this array of icons down below to manage your message messages. So you can see all your messages right there, your emails, texts, MMS as well. Just your SMS or MMS or you can move over and check out your voicemail. This does have a visual voicemail as well. So let's go over to, let's say SMS, MMS, control, start a new message. And actually what you see here is a new keyboard. Uh, HTC put their own keyboard, uh, different than what you see again on stock Android. It's a little bit bigger. Um, the keys are a little bit larger. Uh, and, and for me personally, I think it's a bit easier to type on. Uh, Android has a fantastic autocorrect capabilities. HTC actually built on top of that, making it even better uh, for autocorrect. You still get the same features that you get in Android 2.1, like text-to-speech, and of course, this sucker will go into landscape for all of your typing needs. So a little bit different, so if you get one of these devices that's running Sense, um, make sure that you expect that. We'll go ahead and keep moving. Uh, probably one of the coolest features of Sense is first that it gives you seven home trees, which is kind of neat. Um, scroll through all of them couple blank ones there. You can see this little bar at the bottom moving to show you where I'm at. But navigating through seven home screens can be a bit sort of annoying. So HTC built something very new called the Leap. And what Leap does is it lets you leap, appropriately enough, to any home screen you want. To activate it, you can do it in one of two ways. Take two fingers and do a little pinch to zoom action. And you can jump around to any home screen. I only have three with widgets on it, so only three are showing up. But I can jump to some of the blank ones and go right there if I want to jump back to the home screen. I can jump back right there. You can also activate that just at any time by hitting the home button. I should also mention too that these capacitive buttons on the bottom, uh, similar to the buttons that are found on the Nexus One, which are also capacitive, uh, don't have the same sort of wonky issues. Uh, they're very responsive and work just about as well as a physical button. So if you're concerned about the problems that the Nexus One may have had, um, don't be concerned about the Droid Incredible. Works quite well. So this is just kind of a neat feature. It's sort of a 3D visual effect. Um, shows you, I guess, a bit of the processing power of the Snapdragon, but just a nice feature um, to have. Let's go ahead and keep moving along because there are a ton of other stuff to talk about. Let's talk about widgets. You can see one of them here. HTC added a ton of widgets. And here's where you can sort of set up, almost like bookmarks, um, all of your favorites. And you can you know, set up as many as you can fit on here and just tap them to call. But there are a lot of other widgets that HTC has added. So let me give you a sort of a tour of some of the most popular ones. So to access them, same way you'd expect, hold down the screen, go to widgets. And here are the HTC widgets here. Uh, and there are quite a bit of them. So analog clock, you can have bookmarks, calendar, which I'll show you in just a minute. Um, the stock calendar widget that you get with um, 
Android, you can see right below it whether they're Android or HTC widgets. So for calendar right there, it says HTC, and below that other calendar it says Android. Uh, you've got full Facebook integration as well. It'll sort of pull in all of your Facebook contents. And as I'll show you in a minute, it's got something called FriendStream, which will actually aggregate all of your social networks. So uh, Facebook, Twitter, and the rest, uh, very similar to uh, Modal Blur. So I guess you could call this HTC's answer to Modal Blur. Uh, clock footprints, which HTC is putting on all their phones, but I don't see much of a need for it. Essentially, it just geotags all your pictures. Uh, Friendstream, we just mentioned, mail, which was shown, uh, HTC's own mail widgets, music, music, people, photo booth, uh, pictures, and I'll show you how this handles pictures in a little bit, uh, search, settings, there's a very new stocks widget, uh, built-in Twitter widget for HTC, weather, and YouTube, and time permitting, I really can't show you every widget here, but there are some that are very cool. So let me show you stocks, for example, this is one that I actually use quite a bit. You get a, a very nice stocks widget here, and you can select a widget style, so there's one of five, have it sort of do a scrolling ticker, sort of a three-dimensional little graphic there. I prefer to see all of my stocks, so we'll go ahead and select that. And it uses Yahoo Finance, so it's playing them all down. I don't have any stocks uh, selected, but it'll show up on the next home screen. Let's go back and take a look at some of the other widgets, because there are quite a few. So photo frame or photo album is kind of a cool way to view photos. Um, we'll go ahead and pick, let's say, HTC's photo frame. Essentially, frame some pictures in your album. You can pick the one you want. We'll select that one. You can always have sort of pictures that are available. There aren't any that I've taken here yet, so we'll pick one of this lady. She looks friendly. Move it around. Her face seems to be the highlight of that picture. So we'll save it. Now I've got sort of a picture frame of her that I can go ahead and tap and check out all my images. You can see how smoothly the picture scrolls as well. But we'll talk about that in a minute. So those are the widgets. There are a ton to choose from and a lot of different choices. Um, but let's show you some of the other options. One of the other cool things about Android 2.1, you can probably see in the background, are live wallpapers. Don't tell her mom, but I'm going to delete her from my phone. You can see that's kind of swirling in the background. I'm a big fan of live wallpapers. I like them on the Nexus One. I like them on the Droid when it got 2.1 updates. So let me show you what the live wallpaper options are here. So actually, to access here, here on, um, on Sense, you don't just hold down the Home button as you would on regular Android. You actually have to go back and hit the Menu button. Then you can go right into wallpaper, HTC wallpapers or live wallpapers. Then go ahead and pick the options here. Here are the stock ones. You're missing sort of the Nexus One lines that sort of scroll through each other that I kind of liked. Uh, but you do have a few other ones here. I've got Galaxy selected, HTC's own Sense. It's a multicolor. It's sort of like a hypercolor type thing. Um, polar Clock, Spectrum, View Meter, Water, and a few others. Um, kind of neat. So let me show you some other neat features that Sense has done, HTC has put into their phones. Let's check out the calendar. It's a completely reskinned calendar. Uh, you can go ahead and you can view by different days or weeks or scroll through. It's uh, just a nicer way to view things. If you want to add an appointment, you get sort of a new uh, look and a way to do that. So we'll go back to the calendar. Sort of view all your whole agenda here if you'd like, if you want an agenda view, or right back to the calendar. It's just a Nothing terribly fancy, but it's sort of a nice touch that I really liked uh, that HTC did. Let's take a look next at the camera because HTC put in sort of their own uh, few camera tweaks to take advantage of this uh, pretty nice 8 megapixel sensor with LED flash on the back. So we can't really take a picture of anything here because I'm going to show you on the black, but I will show you some of the options that they've added. Um, and some of these are Android options as well, but they've integrated very nicely. So for photos, go ahead and adjust your brightness. Contrast, saturation, and sharpness. If you want uh, an effect, there are a decent amount of effects. And if you want some white balance. And if we're talking, um, I can show you a little bit about what those are. Hopefully you can, we'll put something. Here's a, here's a pen. I'll give you a quick example of what those look like. So we'll do, we'll mess around with brightness. See it's sort of changing a little bit, not much. Saturation effects. Here's all the different choices, so we'll aqua it up, and let's see what else we have, I think that'll work. And if you want to focus, it's sort of a tap to focusing, and actually it does focus very nicely, it's an autofocus camera, the flash options are right there, and if you want to uh, take a picture, you actually use that optical trackpad, you push it in, see the flash light up, and you get a picture. And here's some other options that you get with HTC, uh, this is going to take you to your pictures, this is if you want to share it, which that just went away. Take another picture. Share it, delete it, or go right to your photos. And since we're talking about photos, 
let's jump right in. Uh, photo is one of the things that HTC um, and uh, Google in particular really improved with Android 2.1. So let me show you what the photos look like here. And we'll walk through this whole menu here in just a moment because there are a lot of uh, things here to see. Although the photos icon sometimes can be uh, a bit hidden. So we'll get to it um, right from the camera. We'll jump back there and we'll hop into pictures. So picture viewing here is uh, sort of familiar to other HTC devices. This is one of the sort of few ways where I think that you actually miss out on some features that you're not getting with um, stock Android devices. I really like the three-dimensional sort of picture viewer. Uh, here you just get sort of flick scroll through. Um, somebody else, picture of some guy. Uh, another reviewer must have had this phone before me, but uh, now he's on camera. It's very smooth, very quick. You can pitch to zoom and view in, but one of the ways that I don't like sense. That's really one of the few. Let's jump into the menu items. HTC actually bundles a lot of cool applications with their sense um, devices. So you got a, you have a calculator, the calendar, call history, a camcorder, camera which we showed. A car panel actually takes you to all sort of the car features, which are kind of handy. So Google Maps navigation, activates footprints. If you want to view a map, make a call from right here, which I don't know why you wouldn't just hit the dialer uh, or search, but this is where you find the uh, Google Maps navigation. Jump back into the menu, city ID will help you well, figure things out, city or state look up. Uh, it's like a 411 really for anywhere you want to find. Oops. Uh, a few other cool features, you get the clock, you get a desk clock, Facebook. This does have built-in FM radio, uh, which is kind of neat. Uh, footprints, the friend stream we talked about earlier, built-in Gmail, internet, maps, you guys can see the rest. Peep is sort of the built-in Twitter client they give you. Uh, you can download whatever you'd like from Android Marketplace. Uh, there's photos that's hiding from me. A quick office, it's sort of a way that you can view and uh, even edit Word, PowerPoint, and Excel documents. Uh, search people, quite obviously a way to search people. Setup, there is stocks that we talked about earlier. Uh, Google Talk, you get sort of a cool teeter game where you use accelerometer. It's like a uh, labyrinth game. Uh, weather and YouTube, and YouTube is actually quite nice. You get voice dialer and voice recording, and of course, voice search for Android. So there are a lot of really cool features about Android 2.1, and they're made sort of even better and augmented a little bit with HTC Sense. I think this is really the perfect package of Android utility. You get the openness uh, of Android really put to a nice use for customization uh, by HTC. So anything you don't like, you can change or customize or even make it look essentially like a stock Android device, although I'm not sure why you would. Sense just adds a lot of features. So what do you guys think about HTC Sense? Do you like it, not like it? Have you played around with it? Are you excited about it on the Incredible or uh, another Android device coming out or one that's already available? Uh, curious what you guys have to say. Leave a text or video comment. Um, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to check out the site for all of your tech news. You can create your own sub-blog, so technobuffalo.com slash whatever your name is. Um, you can actually put in your own ad code and make a couple bucks. And you can talk to, to talk to people about whatever tech news you want to discuss uh, with our built-in social network. And the last pitch is for exclusive content. Be sure to check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash John for Lakers. Anyway, once again, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.